Hi everybody, Misty here with A Unique Treasure. I am so, so excited. We are getting ready to do a giveaway. I am trying to reach 500 subbies. I am back and hopefully full force, meaning that I'm gonna be doing more videos consistently. Um, just now I'm back. And this is my new card. I love it. It's just so, so stinking cute. I have my, um, I have my Etsy store on vacation and so is my .com. Um, I'm going to start making more things and putting them on there, but until I have a few things done at one time, I'm going to hold off on doing that. So I just want to show you this though, because I love, love, love this card. But my .com is a unique treasure dot shop. It's not a .com, it's a dot shop. And that's where you can reach me there. However, um, I do have an Instagram. I'm going to start posting there uh, more frequently too because I'm really getting into Instagram now. But anyways, this is such a beautiful, sweet little kit that I got from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures on her monthly uh, kit club. And she presents them so beautifully. I kind of wish, I, and I did do a long video. I didn't publish it though because I was having internet issues. But I wish that I did have that um, when the kit came in video to show you. Uh, however, just know that most of this, almost all of it, if it's not hers, I will definitely point it out. So I'm going to untie this. This is just some beautiful, beautiful fabric. Um, that I got from a previous kit with her at Christmas time. And it's the tie, wow, I'm really, we love our strings, don't we? Um, tied up here. So this is gonna be a giveaway. Um, let me, before I go into this, let me um, sh tell you really quick. I'm trying to reach 500 subbies. Shouldn't be that big of a problem. Um, this is for an entry, you must be subscribed. Like my video and comment on the video. For a second entry, all you have to do is share the video and tag me in it. And that way I'll know that you shared the video for the second entry. And the drawing will be held when I reach 500 subbies. Now, if this takes longer than the end of May, then I will go ahead and do the drawing, but I certainly hope not. And I appreciate all of you who have sent cards and been really supportive for me and my mom. That is so, so, so sweet. I love this community. Thank you. All right, so this was an envelope that was sent to me with various uh, things. So it kind of is like this, it kind of, you like my language, kind of like this. So this is another part of this kit that came and this, this is not what I'm gonna show you. This is gonna be a process video. I'm gonna do this with you um, as I go along and put it on camera when I do work on this. But this is how this came from her. And this particular envelope she embossed it's just really beautiful. So let's get back to this one. This is part of the, this is the giveaway. And so this journal is, I believe it was six by four and a half. And this cluster, I only added two things, I think, to this, this and maybe this or something else. Uh, but anyways, I just put it on like it was because it was so beautiful. And I opened up this video, this um, envelope and I, uh, I, well, it came coffee dyed, but I then took gesso and gessoed around it, and then I took metallic and pink and white paint and gave it a go, because I love mixed media. And then I opened this up completely also and um, decoupaged this beautiful napkin underneath here. And I took the window off because I accidentally burnt the original window uh, with my heat gun. So I had to take vellum and put that here, which has still turned out gorgeous. Okay, let's go inside. And these were um, two cutout tags. And I just added some ribbon and, you know, I added some stickles and I added a little decoupaging here. Sorry if you can't see it. I'm looking at the product. And then I took this and put some trim back here and some really pretty sparkly stuff. and just added things to this to make it a little pretty and I made my own little pocket here because I'm trying to stick to her papers and stuff with what I got because this is also going on her Facebook group and I want to represent her and then I took this I gessoed this um, frame from Tim Holtz 
and it's open so that you can slide a picture in there and you could also slide some of the clear plastic stuff I can't think of the name for it right now and then I just did that to this one and I just did the back here and um, smeared some different colors it's hard to pick up in the video uh, but stickles are back there with gesso and here is just another pretty this is just so pretty I love this and I, I love to paint and you know add mixed media on these projects um, this was a I got glue on this paper and I couldn't get it up so I put this butterfly on there and stickled it and st stuck some pearls on there I think those are water pearls or something like that and then here is a piece of vintage something and here's just some paper, it's so pretty. And I, I um, took some fabric and uh, ripped it. And I think I got this fabric from her actually. And I um, just ripped it in strips and sewed, sewed them on. I'm holding this, sorry. And this one here, um, I want. I think I might still go back and put a piece of paper here because it is hard getting things in and out of here because of the punch and I don't want that ruined when it gets to somebody so I think because I, I had something in there and I took it out and then this was the envelope that she sent and the other part of that envelope must be that way yeah um, this is the envelope she sent and I actually glued the flap uh, the envelope shut on the other side where it is and I cut the bottom of the envelope open to have this in there and I just love this itty bitty tiny trim it's so pretty and here we go and this is where I actually um, glued it shut and I didn't like that seam being there um, and I was gonna cover this whole thing up excuse me I was gonna cover up this my chair's creaking like mad but I decided just to put gesso I'm um, gesso um, washi <laughs> on there and this was a really unique piece of paper, but it was just brown, so I went ahead and gessoed it. I put some gesso on there and some pink, light pink paint. And then this came from a previous kit I got from her at Christmas time. This is her vintage wallpaper. I made a flower. And so this paper is hers. This is some of my dyed paper, my pink dyed paper. And it is kind of bright for in here, but um, I decided to leave it to pop some color so it wasn't so bland. And here is also, um, oh, okay, so um, here's just another paper. And then over here, I left this open. The person who gets this can glue it down if you choose to, but I just left it like a little tuck. And then I have stuffed in different places some cutouts for you to enjoy and do what you want with. Some die cuts and this is some of her beautiful lace paper and she made this and I actually I, I just um, you know as you see I just stuck it there and I um, this had a big piece of lace around it pinned with something and so I decided to take that off and make my own um, closure you know it's just this cute little tiny closure and I just stuck it to that. And she had made this, and I didn't do anything else. Oh yeah, I did. I went in and put some stitching. I put stitching on, um, whoops, sorry, so little. I put stitching on the pages is what I did. You see, I stitched the pages just to give them something. But this was a cute little book that she had included with the kit. And I wanted to do something to everything. I didn't want to leave it as it was. And then um, this also was included. And I just stuck this on here. So it's kind of like an opening. And this is the center. And here is a really pretty... I didn't make this. This was like this. And I just tied it on there. Real pretty stamp. Um, here is a shaker element. Um, as you can see, there's little tiny stars in there. 
and I used uh, vellum and I don't know what netting I can never remember the name of that and then I just took a few pieces here is um, cut out I, I cut out some flowers you can put them together you can mix them with another one and this is a uh, really small glitter paper it's so pretty it's not um, the big glitter let me turn this back here I love this paper it's so pretty and then here's some more flowers this is I cut out of my faux vinyl and the vintage wallpaper and you know I had tried to make a flower out of this and, and if you want it to be curved up and not flat um, like it is where are you I think it's here see this is kind of flat um, the stuff around it puffs it up a little bit but if you want it up you can go ahead and make the flower out of paper and you know how we um, flip up the sides and then you can put one of these and glue that underneath there to be the form of the flower so um, that is for somebody to be creative with and I took a burlap tag as you can tell I love gesso and um, I had made some of the paste um, and use both on here and sewed around it just a sweet little tag and then I took some regular tea dye paper and made a pocket and um, decoupaged on it just some really pretty I was trying to leave it to where somebody could actually stick pictures in it and write around the pictures you know I've had this wherever I decided to use it it's a little sideways but it's okay Nothing's supposed to be perfect in here. And I know I'm not talking about this part, I'm talking about the fabric is a little sideways. And I did, I did this double stitching on purpose. And then here's some more cutouts to the butterfly so you can layer them and have some dimension or by itself. And this these I actually just left plain surprisingly. <laughs> And here, I love this. I love, love, love this. I took this trim off of something else and put it on here. And you can tell it's a little chunky. And this is such pretty paper. She did a great job. And then this is the back of it. And I stuck a die cut on there. So again, you know, if you want to join please share and like this video that is so important to get to 500 subbies nobody knows about my channel again probably because it's been a while um, that I have done consistent videos but I am back now so let's uh, see who the winner is gonna be yay well anyways thank you so much for joining me ladies have an amazing rest of your day